Dr. Mack Tess, a passionate teacher about literature and how it influences us today, takes us on a tour, a mini tour, of Boise State University. It's important to start with the basics, I've learned, um, because you know, for very good reason, most people don't know what we're talking about when we say that Shakespeare's first folio is coming to Boise State and coming to Idaho for the first time ever. What we mean when we say that, the term folio refers to a book. It is the first edition of Shakespeare's collected plays. So that's the first part, that it's a first edition. Folio simply means a book that is made by folding a single piece of paper once. This is how books were made in the era of the printing press. So it's large sheets of paper. They're not eight and a half and 11 by 11 like we have today. They're larger pieces of paper folded once. So folios are big books. Um, and that implies a certain importance. Paper was expensive. Um, so these books were made to last. People would have their folios bound which is another way of protecting them and making them last. That's a clue right there that this first edition of Shakespeare's plays are being put into a folio format. They're important, it's made to last. Folio format was generally reserved up until then for religious texts, um, royal documents, law. So this is the first time in England ever, in fact, that the folio format was dedicated to a collection of plays. Plays were not considered literature at that time. It was, it was pop culture, it was fluff, it was fun. You wouldn't really waste the money, frankly. The, the paper, the resources, the manpower, the effort that it took to print in those days, um, to printing plays. You go and see plays, you don't read plays as if they're literature. So it really says something that uh, the first folio happened at all at this time, that these works were considered legitimate enough and considered literature that two of Shakespeare's fellow company men, they were in the King's Men, they were fellow actors, colleagues, friends of Shakespeare's that got together after Shakespeare died. So the first folio was printed in 1623, seven years after Shakespeare died. His friends got together, it's really quite a tribute to him that they felt that his works were significant enough that they wanted to create this book that was built to last and preserve his plays. And thankfully, by doing so, half of Shakespeare's plays that we know of today are preserved because of that effort. We wouldn't have them at all. The gallery here in the Yankee building is focused around the book as the, the central, the main event, absolutely, but it's surrounded by items that um, highlight the significance of the book. And then of course we've also done a display that focuses on the 40-year history of the Idaho Shakespeare Festival, so we really get a sense of the influence and the ongoing influence of Shakespeare right here in Idaho. And it just happens to be that um, in 2016, not only is it the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death, but it is the 40th anniversary of the Idaho Shakespeare Festival, so that was a nice tie-in that we get. Dan DeSimone, the librarian from the Folger Shakespeare Library, where this book is part of the collection normally, so the book is on tour from the Folger Shakespeare Library in DC. You know, he, he said it the other day, that just master storyteller. He, he, Shakespeare is the ultimate in storytelling and in, in character and development and just capturing the full range of human experience. Um, the highs, the lows, the, you know, he, and he asks the hard questions and he wrestles with issues that are still relevant today, that we can still connect with. I mean, so even the way we speak, without even realizing it, I think there's so many that people are using that they don't know that they're quoting Shakespeare when they say things. You can't hold a candle to something. Um, or you talk about a sea change or something vanishes into thin air, all of those phrases, you are quoting Shakespeare if you say that. So I think you know, we're, we're referencing Shakespeare all the time without even realizing it. Um, so you don't just have to be like saying the to be or not to be soliloquy, but just these, these phrases that are so ingrained in the way we talk um, and the way, just the way we express the way we're feeling or experiencing something, we're often quoting Shakespeare without even realizing it. I feel like there's something to it about appreciating or even just realizing the enduring in nature of 
something that you feel like is stuffy and old-fashioned so has no relevance to your day-to-day -day life. Um, but then realizing there are connections, there's these certain through lines of just what it is to be a person <laughs> and how hard it can be to be a person and how amazing it can be to be a person. And seeing that reflected in works that were written 400 years ago, that there are tie-ins to your life and your experience. The book itself, the first folio, is open to Hamlet and arguably the most speech in all of the English language, the to be or not to be speech. So that is what visitors see when they come here. And that was actually determined by the Folger Shakespeare Library. So that is consistent. This tour, this installation is part of a national tour and it stops in one site in every state throughout 2016. So all, every host site will have the book open to the to be or not to be speech. So everyone across America will have that same experience. I can tell you I've seen more than a few people who are literally giddy when they walk up to the book. They, they're, they're here to see it and they're so excited and they, they're just sort of beside themselves approaching the case that what they're about to see. So that, that's been fantastic to experience and I've seen that several times over. So that's incredibly rewarding. <laughs> <laughs> That is the question. Whether it is nobler in mind to suffer the sins and arrows of outrageous fortune, to take up arms against the sea of troubles by opposing them. <laughs> to die. This works. <laughs> That's this thank works. you. Here's thank you. <laughs> Shakespeare, that was just such a great event that happened over at Boise State. I mean, really incredible.